Hey everybody, Harry Shinsky. Um, glad to see you're back. Uh, got a couple of questions. Quick again today. We're still working on a couple of films. Um, so I thought I'd get over these. Uh, these are the ones that were handed to me that seem to be the most inquisitive, the ones that were asking the most questions. And uh, um, one was the first one Should I find a distributor? Yes, if you can, find a distributor. Um, I want to make this very clear to you, though. If you decide to go with do-it-yourself DIY, um, you go and put it on VOD and all this stuff, you find out you're not making that much cash off, the, off of your movie, and then you decide to go find yourself a distributor, eh, pretty much forget it. Um, you're not going to be able to do that once the film has already been out there and been sold. And, you know, it's really hard to find a distributor after at that point. Uh, you can get one of the lower... Probably able to get on with one of the lower uh, scale distributors, or you might be able to get on with a good, um, possibly Blu-ray DVD distributor if the films they feel that it's worth it. Uh, that's about that's about it. So I would really first off pull for and go for a distributor right off the bat. I mean, then if things don't work out for you, then you go ahead and do it, go ahead and do the DIY and do it, do it all yourself and, you know, try it that way. It's really hard to do, though, and I think I went over this before. If not, I should go over it again. Um, uh, you got to remember, the, the best thing about having a distributor is that they cover they cover most of the costs, where if you're doing it on your own, you got to come up with all that cost, and it could cost as high as $10,000, you know, just to get it out there on some couple of sites uh, some good sites you know um uh it's just something that you you know uh want because they'll get you into stores they'll get your disc into stores they'll get it up on all the right spots they'll put it get it get it on the right uh stations on you know on cable and you want to you really want to go with a distributor if you can so that's would be the first thing you should try to do and I go over, go into that. Of course, I'll have to show this again. I got to keep pushing it, right? Uh, it's in the can now. What we that's pretty much what this really is all about. This book really goes over everything uh, by by filmmakers that have gone through the process of trying to do it DIY, the DIY it themselves, and have found that distribution is the best way to go. Costs less money, and in the long run, you make more money. Um, that's just just my thought. Of course, you might have something totally different, and until you've tried it on your own, you probably won't know really, really what I'm talking about or what I mean by that. Um, <clears throat> you got to remember, distributors know the right people to call. They know the right places to go. They know how to get it on certain stations. Some of them nowadays even have their own movie channels on, like Roku and you know all those. Um, so. Those are probably some of the best places to go. You really, really want to find yourself a distributor. They even absorb, uh, at least some of the best ones, absorb even some of the advertising costs. you got to remember in today's world as an independent, you're probably going to have to do some advertising for your film. They're not just going to take the film and do it all for you. No matter what, you're still going to have to push your film. Even big companies have their people go out and push their films. You know, you see them do interviews and stuff like that. But you're going to have to do the same thing. So you have to remember that you have to do that no matter which way you go. And if you decide to do it yourself, um, which we also call all alternate distribution, alternative distribution, then you have to do it all yourself. And you need about four or five people to do that because you wouldn't even know where to start to try to get it on some of the right stations. You could go with like a company like Distributor, or something like that. It's going to cost you, you know, probably around ten grand to get it all going, to get it going. And uh, if you go through a distributor, they handle all those costs for you. So the best thing I do is shoot for a distributor. And you should always try to find a distributor before you make the film, because then you know what to do and who, who what they're going to want in your movie in order for them to be able to push it. Uh, because remember, they're a client and they're also a fan. So if you're making films on horror. Uh, they're fans of horror, horror, and they know what they need in order to push it out to their audience because 
they're part of the audience. So it makes a lot of sense. It's the same thing with any other type of film. You know, you got to go for the right distributor, distributor for the right kind of film. And one of the ways you could start out is by looking at movies that you, that are simple or like yours. If yours have if yours has an actor in it, A, B, or C, then look at look at uh, films that have A, B, or C type actors in it and see what companies are distributing them. If uh, you don't have any A, B, or C actor, you have all unknowns. Look at the distributors that handle unknowns. And again, it's in here. In fact, we even give you names and and uh, email addresses and stuff like that in here to help you out even further. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Sandy H asks, how do I find a distributor for my film? Okay, well, I just kind of went over some of that, didn't I? Uh, <clears throat> along with, <clears throat> excuse me, along with, um, uh, you know, watching other films and seeing who who has distributed them, you might also want to go about and call some, get a hold of some of the, the producers and directors of the films that you've watched that are like yours and ask them who they went with. That's another way of going about it. It's a lot more in depth than that. I mean, I can't go over it, and this is a very small forum for that, so it's really hard to um, get into. Um, uh, you know, the first thing I think about when dealing with a distributor is what to do, what they want to see, and like I said, if they're into horror, then you know you got to kind of like see what kind of films they really like and how they how they handle them and see how they push those films. Write yourself up a list. I mean, there's a whole lot to this, but uh, as far as far as I'm concerned, um, you need somebody to help you out when when it comes to this. You don't just make a film and throw it up there and hope somebody grabs it and then all of a sudden get shelved. That's the wrong way to do these things. You want to put as much time into finding a distributor as you did to making your movie because you get the wrong distributor, you're not going to make any money off your picture. So you really want to look into that and we've we've been known to help uh filmmakers find distributors and uh in fact i give you that information here too in the back of the book how you can get a hold of us if you're having a problem so um if you're having a problem finding a distributor or you know you need help uh we do we have helped a lot of filmmakers in the past so it's in this it's in this it's in this book too um Let's see who else we got here. We got, and I I can't really go into the how to find a distributor. That this, it's this it's so involved that I had to write a book on it. You know, so uh, the best thing to do is if you can pick up the book. It's in the can now. What you can get it on Amazon, print or digital, whichever works for you. Um, let's see who else we got here. We got. Uh, uh, I tried getting a sales agent for my film, but I'm finding it almost impossible to get one to handle me. What should I do? Well, Thomas, uh, getting a sales agent is pretty hard. Usually you get a sales agent if your film's been in one of the top, you know, top tier, uh, uh, you know, film festivals out there and uh, they'll usually be there and and if you need one and you've won something they'll usually find you or you know it's a lot easier for you to get a hold of them and they'll help you try to set that up you're also going to need a uh, attorney at the same time uh, luckily a lot of the uh, sales agents are also attorneys so you can kind of get two for the price of one which is kind of great because when they go and they find you a distributor you're going to need some some kind of a contract or someone that can read over the contract to make sure that you're not going to get ripped off. Okay, so that's why it's really important to always involve an attorney. And attorneys aren't as expensive as, as, you, as you think they are because you can hire them on the uh, per hour basis. And you're only going to need them once or twice. <clears throat> and that would be when you have a contract that needs to be signed. And they're gonna, you're going to want somebody to look it over who's on your side. And also be able to negotiate a little bit for you. Plus, if you get a sales agent, uh, they're going to know what companies to approach with your type of film if they decide to take it on. Don't expect a sales agent to take your film on. Not unless it's, like I said, it's been in one of the top five and you've got an A, B, or C star in it. Um, it, it just doesn't happen that much. It really doesn't. So... Um, we're gonna to try to keep, we're gonna to have to keep to cut this one close again because um, we're like really really busy now. Uh, I most of the questions we got today were on distribution, right? 
Yeah, that's what I thought too. It was mostly distribution, which I was kind of surprised. Um, and I think it's because there's, there's a lot of people starting to think about it. It's that time of the year, you know, that people are starting to think about making their pictures and how what they're going to do with them. And if you're thinking about making one now, <clears throat> or even a short subject for that matter, and you're thinking about getting distri distribution for either short or a uh, full length, um, you really start need to think about that before you make your make your film because you really need to reach out to distributors and find out who would be willing to take your picture on before you make it. If you can have, uh, if, if you can get somebody interested in your movie before you make it, it's a big plus for you because it also helps you if you decide to go out and find other distribution that you have somebody who's in, who's already interested. And if you can get a deal memo written up before you start the film, don't expect that to happen, and ex definitely don't expect to get any money up front because it just doesn't happen. Okay, it's not going to happen. So if, if it does. You know, it's a miracle, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions, be sure to write us. Write me at this uh, little uh, name that's down below there. It's uh, talkingfilmproduction at gmail.com. And just put down there for Harry on this, in the subject line. And it'll get to me right away. And that way we can find out if it's something we want to put on the, on the vlog here. Don't forget. Don't forget. I'm serious. Don't forget. Think about what kind of film you're going to make. Think about what type of person would want to see that movie because there's a lot of subgenres out there, especially when it comes to horror, sci-fi, you know. Uh, think about what you want to, and then start looking at distributors that you think would want that picture. That's really about all we got time for uh, today. But watch for us next week. I'll be back. Keep writing us. Um, we didn't get a whole lot of questions this time. I, Funny thing is, most of them are on distribution, so I guess people are starting to think about that right now. Um, so watch for us next week, and send in those questions, and I'll try to spend more time on on this so you guys can get more of your answers. Right now, I'm kind of shooting in the dark, because you guys are really vague on a lot of your questions. You need to be like, tell me what type of film you're making, what's the length of it, do you have any stars in it or not. You know, even if you're just thinking about it and you haven't even done it yet, write to me. I'll try to help you out best I can, okay? In the meantime, if you can, pick up the book. It's in the can now what? You can get it on Amazon, uh, uh, printed form, or as digital. Okay, that's about it. We all, all we got for now, we'll talk to you next week. See you later. <laughs>